Surgical procedures are performed every day to replace and repair damaged tissue during trauma and disease. The goal of this developing field is to regenerate these damaged tissues by using scaffold biomaterials to combine with cells from the body. Silk fibrin from the Bombyx mori silkworm possesses unique mechanical and biological properties which make it a promising scaffold to be used in tissue engineering applications. In this video, we describe the current understanding of the structure, mechanical properties, and processing of silk fibrin. In early studies, the structure of Palm Beach Mori silk fibrin was investigated by electron microscopy and X-ray diffraction techniques. The results obtained from these studies revealed that silk fibrin contained crystallized with well-defined dimensions. The fragment obtained by ultrasonic disintegration of fibrin showed that there are, th there are thin sheets that consist of filament separated by less wider stained material. Now we have these two figures. These figures suggested that silk fibrin has ribbon-like filaments of well-defined lateral dimensions, which also is, can be called microfiber. In most instances, the methods of preparation or examination would have prevented the recognition of highly asymmetric cross-sectional shape in this microfiber. The asymmetric shape is confirmed by the, by the cross-section in that figure where the dimensions of the unstained areas agree with those assumed in this figure. With microfilms of such small dimensions, the interpretation of the appearance in cross-section is complicated by the possibility that the plane of the section is not accurately normal to the axis, but the back end of the microfibril in that figure appears to be irregular, apart from a marked tendency for the planes of the ribbons to lie barrel. This explains how it's possible to obtain fragments of the type shown in figure one, in which the majority of the ribbons present their narrow aspect to the electron beam. It also follows that the microfibril follow more strongly with a larger surface, since fragmentation apparently proceeds most readily along lines perpendicular to the larger lateral dimensions. Silk fibers are considered a polyamino acid based fibrous proteins. The primary sequence and linkage between the monomers of these proteins are arranged in a strictly controlled way, and it's linked in that way, so the formation of these proteins is a well-defined structure. Different microscopy methods have been used to study the microstructure of silk fiber. The results of these studies reveal that silk fibers consist of well-oriented bundles fibers. Studies also have confirmed the presence of microvoids in silk fibers. These microvoids are thought to form in the final stages of a spinning process in which viscous protein aqueous is stretched or loaded into the fibers. The Bombyx mori silk fibrin is composed of two protein chains. Both chains are linked with a covalent, covalent bond by, this, by a disulfide bond at the carboxy terminal of the two, of the two subunits. Bombyx mori silk feature unique physical properties, such as superior mechanical properties in terms of toughness, that it, the amount of energy absorbed before breakage. The mechanical properties of silk fibers can be described by stress-strain curves profiles, which are generated by stretching the fibers at a specific strain rate. The stress is expressed as a force per cross-sectional area, and the strain is defined as a normalized extensibility. Typical stress strains curves for Bombyx mori silkworm uh, show elastic behavior followed by plastic deformation. These characteristics have driven scientists to explore the structural origin of the high performance silk fiber, with the goal of obtaining templates for designing no novel materials with comparable properties. The mechanical properties of silk fibers also depend crucially on spinning conditions, such as humidity, temperature, and reeling speed, and so on. Some experiments made on silk fiber and fibers uh, show some incredible results. Fuel 13 
films are characterized by high elastic modulus of 6 to 8 gigapascals, with the ultimate pencil strength reaching 100 megapascals. These outstanding properties are suggested to be caused by gradual development of self-reinforcing mix microstructure of highly crystalline beta sheets serving as reinforcing fillers and physical crosslinks, a process that was well known for bulk silk materials but is demonstrated here to occur in ultra-thin films as well, despite their limited dimensions. However, the confined state within films thinner than the lengths of the extended domains causes a significantly res reduced el elasticity which should be considered in the design of nano-sized films from silk materials. Such regenerated silk fibrins film with outstanding mechanical strength have potential applications in microscale biodevices, biocompatible implants, and synthetic coatings for artificial skin. A comparison of mechanical properties suggests that they provide a remarkable com combination of strength and toughness. In addition, these fibers display resistance to failure in compression that distinguishes them from other high-performance fibers, such as Kevlar. The process of electrospinning fibers allow for fibers to be made on a scale of nanometers. This requires applying a high voltage charge across a polymer liquid, either a solution or in a melt. The electrostatic field that is applied across the nozzle that this melt or solution is ejected from forms a ta what is called a Taylor's cone. This Taylor's cone ejects a slim stream of the polymer that dries as it flies through the air. For silk fibrin fibers, they are produced from two types of Bombyx mori silkworms, a Thai species and a hybrid species. The cocoons of these silkworms are boiled and go through a chemical process to break apart and separate out two proteins of fibrin and sericin. The fibrin is the fibrin protein is used to make the structure of the fibers while the sericin binds the filaments of the fibers together. The fibrin solution is inserted into a syringe where a needle of a small gauge is being used as a nozzle to eject the liquid. A high voltage is applied to this needle to give it a charge while the collector is acting as the ground for the voltage. To make this scaffold, the collecting sheet is rotating while collecting the stream of the polymer fibers. Once this fiber has been collected into a mat on the rotating collecting platform, it is to be used as a tissue engineering scaffold. This mat is then immersed in some methanol in a water solution to cause conformational changes.